Hello, this is Mr. McGovern, and welcome to the first video on this series in Level 3, Circular Motion. We are going to have about nine videos uh, in this series, and we're just going to start off with a bit of review on Level 2, Circular Motion, and then how this year is different from what we learned last year. Alright, so in Level 2 you learned uh, an object going around a circle, at a steady speed has the following properties. The velocity is always tangent to the circle, so you can see it pointing straight ahead there, but as the car moves around the circle, it's going to be pointing in a different direction, always tangent to the circle. And it has a net force pointing towards the center of the circle. The net force points towards the center of the circle. And we rename this net force in circular motion, the centripetal force. It is not a new force. It's not its own force like friction or gravity. It's just the name for the, um, the total force that causes an object to go around in a circular motion. Okay, so I actually refer to it more often as the total force. Um, because people get confused with centripetal force. They think it's just an extra force in there. So the formulas we had last year were velocity uh, is distance over time. The distance around a circle is 2 pi r. That's the circumference. And over time, the big T means um, the time for one complete cycle of something in physics. So little t is a variable, any duration, but big T has a specific meaning in this, in rotational motion, in symbol harmonic motion, in waves, where it means one full complete cycle. So for this would be the car going around, and the name for that is the time period. We can work out the centripetal acceleration, which is just v squared over r, and the other formula you're given is the total force in circular motion is mv squared over r, but remember we sometimes call that total force the centripetal force. So this is the formula that we be given in the formula sheet down the bottom, but I will um, often just refer to that as the total force in circular motion. And that's the t that uh, large, uh, looks like an e there, it's a Greek letter sigma, is total, so total force equals mv squared over r. So how is level 3 different than, than what we've just been talking about? Well, in level 2 we just um, had things going around nice horizontal circles. This year we've got a, a cars going around banked turns. So um, going around a sort of circular motion still, but the road itself is no longer horizontal. It's, it's on an angle, a banked turn. Um, we have things like tetherball, where the ball's going around the pole in a circle, but there's forces at angles. Um, there's a force obviously along the string there. We have vertical circles, and um, it turns out the sizes of forces are different at the top and the bottom of vertical circle, circular motion. And we talk about orbits as well. So things um, in space going around large objects like planets or moons or the sun. So, um, the first video, uh, about eight or nine videos in the series, and I'll see you in the next one.